Howdy gang, welcome back to Pool School and it's June and summer has hit Arizona with a vengeance. We are going to be 110 degrees Fahrenheit today and we're in for a cooker for the rest of the week. Anyway, today's episode I'm going to deliver as promised and wrap up my series on converting your pop-up system to a vacuum system using a vacuumate. So what do you say we jump right in? Alrighty, before I get started, two quick things to remember or to remind you of. Number one, please remember to like and subscribe to this channel and share it with any friends that you have who have their own pool and might be looking to save a dollar or two servicing their pool themselves. Secondly, I want to give a huge shout out to two friends of mine who are industry dancers in Hollywood. They have danced with people like Beyonce. They're still backup dancers for Beyonce. They've danced backup for Justin Timberlake. They've been on TV shows like Glee. They were in the movie La La Land. They are Britney Spears. They've done everything. So uh, they have a new company. It's a very cool concept. The name of the company is Your Move. And I'm going to put the website right here and in the description below this video so you can click on a link and check it out. The uh, website address is, or the website is Your Move Official. Dot com again right here yourmoveofficial.com very cool idea if you've ever wanted to live out a fantasy of learning some of the moves in your favorite pop stars music video or concerts this is the place to learn it from they're amazing ladies they're truly gifted so check out their website if that's something you might be interested in and if you do choose to use their services please make sure you let them know that you heard about them from pool school Okay, time to move on. Converting your pool pop-up system to a vacuum system using the VacMate. So let's do it. So I only have one client who actually has a VacMate um, unit in their pool. When we first converted his pop-up system to a vacuum, we just used the standard way that I described in the previous video on that. But after time, he noticed he really would like a skimmer and he was that we were having trouble with the adapter that went into the skimmer suction port. So we converted it to a VacMate and used it that way and he absolutely loves it. So let's dive back there and check it out. Okay, so remember from my other video on converting a pop-up system to a vacuum system, we used an adapter like this to plug the vacuum in and then this piece went down into the skimmer suction hole and that allowed us to get the suction to, to the vacuum, right? And again, I said that you lose the skimmer function when you use an adapter like this, and that's where the VacMate comes in. So we're not using this anymore. We're gonna use the VacMate. When you get a VacMate, it comes out of the box, it looks something like this, okay? You'll notice there's the skimmer basket, and then there's a post that, it atta that, that attaches the top part, and then there's this top part. And that's kind of the cool part about this. The top part, basically there's three parts. The basket, and then this white O-ring right here. It's in between the top, and it fits around the rim of the basket. And then there's this top part. This piece right here, this sleeve, that was at, I put that on. That comes with the, the, va um, the leaf vac. I mean, sorry, the vac mate, okay? So it goes right on top like that, and you're gonna need that, all right? And then it also comes with a bunch of other adapters. It also comes with this elbow, which you're gonna need, and this plug, you wanna leave that plugged. And it usually comes with a little sleeve like this. And this is what plugs into the vac mate like this. And then the other end, your vacuum plugs into that. Okay, so keep that in mind. This is just a little pressure relief screen. And this one is pretty old, and that's why this little flap keeps coming off. And we actually don't use it anymore, but that helps with the skimmer function. If you noticed, this, when it sits like this, this is the skimmer part of it. So you notice on the top, there's this adjustment valve, and that adjusts the suction between the actual skimmer part up here and the vacuum part down here. So this little thing acts as a skimmer, and again, just through suction, the flap opens and closes, debris gets in there, gets caught in there, and so you get your, your vacuum doing its job, and you get a little bit of a skimmer function as well. I'm gonna take this out, and you can see inside of here, see that little flap in there, right down there? As I close this, see how that flap closes that hole? 
that's your adjustment for your vacuum. So you can adjust your vacuum suction right from this unit, which is really cool. Also a really cool perk is the debris that's caught by your vacuum goes directly into the skimmer basket now. So you can empty the basket without having to always go and check your pump basket. The other thing that's pretty easy to do, you just unscrew that little plastic nut right there. It comes off, empty the basket, put it back on, make sure that O-ring stays around that rim and you're good to go. So let's talk about how to install it. All right, so one other thing that, this, that the VacMate comes with, and if you look down there to the left, you'll see like a plug, okay? The VacMate comes with a variety of those kind of plugs, usually two or three different diameters, and they're threaded, and that plug needs to be screwed in to the hole that goes to the floor drain. Now, depending on how your system is set up, you have to determine which of those two holes is the suction directly from the pump to the skimmer. In this case, the one that's open on this one is that one. And then the one that goes to the floor drain is the one on the left for mine. And that is the one I need to plug. I need to make sure that I thread that in there and plug that. If not, when I go to use the VacMate and I fire everything up, the water suction, the suction will bleed off into the floor drain and you won't get enough suction to run the vacuum. So make sure you plug that. Now, two things. If you have an older system or an older pool, that, that hole might not be threaded, in which case you're gonna need to get a compression style plug, which you can get a lot of different hardware stores or plumbing stores, and it basically fits in there and then you use a wing nut and screw it in and it, it expands a rubber kind of plug or something to, to stop that hole up. So you can either use that, or if you have a really old system or a pool, sometimes you just have a single hole down there that is just suction to the skimmer from the pump itself, and then you don't have to worry about this, okay? But make sure that you plug, use one of those screw-in plugs that comes with the VacMate to plug the hole in your skimmer that goes to the floor drain, right? Make sure it's the floor drain, not the one that goes from the pump. You need that, you need that suction, okay? So, the way you do this is pretty simple. You just take your product here. I'm gonna take this flap off because like I said, we don't use it and it's been a little bit of a problem. So I'm just gonna set this down inside of here. You kinda of gotta play with it a little bit to kinda of work it in there. And I'm gonna put it down inside the hole and make sure it seats around the rim that the skimmer basket fits in. You notice there's a little, it seats in there pretty nice, okay? All right, now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little elbow and my, my little sleeve, and I'm just gonna plug it in to that piece right there. And again, that little slot sleeve right there where the hole is, that sleeve comes with the product, so you can just set that on there, and then this sits right into it, like, let me do it really quick. It's kinda hard to hold this with one hand, I know, but a tripod would be really helpful goes in just like that, okay? Now, I take my vacuum hose, hope I don't drop my phone in the pool, that would suck. And then my vacuum hose plugs right into this right here. I'm gonna take this out so you can see what I just did, okay? There it is, plugged into that. And then this right here goes right into that sleeve. Plugs in there, now there's only Two more things I have to do. Number one, this little compression bar. It's, it's spring-loaded and it'll come apart, so make sure you don't lose the spring when you take it out. I just put that in there and use the compression of it and just anchor my vac mate down like that. This is my adjustment. Now all I have to do is fire up my system. And once I fire up the pool and I get the suction going, then I come over here and I adjust my suction on the vac mate so that my vacuum moves around the pool efficiently without coming out of the water. And that's pretty much it. Now, that little black plug there that you see on the top of that elbow joint right there, that plug, you want that in there, but the VacMate comes with a, a pressure gauge that they tell you, oh, go ahead and use that to check your pressure to adjust your vacuum to this pressure and all that. I've never used it. I don't recommend using it. It's really easier for you to sight it in and just watch your vacuum and see that it's getting enough suction and it moves around the pool efficiently, okay? So I'm actually gonna fire up the system really quick and let you see it working. All right, firing up my system. Coming out to the pool and lo and behold, there's my vacuum. 
So gang, that's pretty much all there is to converting a pop-up cleaning system to a vacuum using a VacMate. I think it's a great product. It allows you to skill main, still maintain your skimmer function. And uh, again, it's, it's not a very expensive product. I think if you look online for VacMate, do a Google search or an Amazon search, probably can get them for under 100 bucks and they probably get free shipping if you do Amazon. Again, it might be worth it to do. Um, that's pretty much how it works. Pretty simple product, uh, but very effective. So, as always, um, I thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments section below this video, or you can email me directly. Again, my email address will appear right down here on the bottom of the screen. It's Kenny poolschool at gmail.com again kenny <laughs> kenny poolschool at gmail.com remember to like and subscribe to this channel and share it and as always especially now with swim season in full swing have fun be safe and always 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 watch your kids around water and i will see you next time